Welcome Aries to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of August 1st to the 15th of 2020. As I was getting into the Aries energy, it's a little bit all over the board. I, I feel that I may title this Doing the Deed because I feel that many of you are um, doing something that you swore you would never do or never do again. So, um, you know, let's just move forward with that because there's many of you Aries and if many of you I know this will resonate with there's uh, it will not resonate with all of you but it will resonate with many of you I appreciate that Aries so let's just move forward because this whole reading for the Aries is about your mind your mind is going tick 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 with over excessive mind chatter your mind excessive mind chatter your mind's just going over and over and over to certain things this is about home this is about health this is about dreaming i feel that many of you aries have been giving dreams or maybe you were actually wide awake and you got a message from a loved one um i and it's pertaining to your home your health or maybe even doing the deed that you said you would never do again so um during this particular time, I would have to say to get your heart and your mind in line with the divine, Aries, because that will realign your excessive mind chatter through meditation. For uh, whatever religion you are, it doesn't matter. For those of you that are Roman Catholic, the rosary, that's a form of meditation. Here's a simple meditation. Just rest your heart and your mind, shut off all electronics, and then visualize uh, the sun going through the top of your head all the ways down to the soles of your feet and pay attention to where does it stop? Does it stop in the heart area? Does that mean that there's some issues going on here uh, via physically, um, emotionally? Because I feel that there's going to be a mystery solved for many of the Aries and it's going to be in a good way that allows you to retrieve maybe a part of your health that you thought you had lost or relationship or life. And you're able to move forward in a good way, Aries. So let's move forward. What do the Aries need to know that will be watching this video pertaining to love, romance, and relationship, Aries? See, I, you know what, I, this is where some of you are going to be, that's the key to this period of time, is about relationship. And I got to tell you, the excessive mind chatter may even go in the direction of paranoia. So you may have a fear of, and the Aries is just exaggerating that fear of. Aries, Aries, Aries. What do the Aries need to know that will be watching this video pertaining to love, romance, and relationship? Okay. Couple cards up oh, here. Now, this card flipped and it stayed in the deck. Isn't that funny? Because we mentioned snakes, serpents, fear. There you go. These chairs are emptied. And I feel that these chairs may want to be filled by the Aries. And however, they're anchored. They're anchored. I don't, not sure if this fits too well with the Aries. This could be a situation in relationship of the heart, or this could be a relationship at work. However, many of you Aries are feeling kind of trapped. I, and here you go. This card just flipped out. And I heard the words, not anymore. I feel through divine. I, you're going to be given a way out like a gate. Take it. This is the meditation. Take that time in meditation. If something doesn't smell right, it probably isn't right. Love, romance, relationship. Okay, another card flipped. 
inside the deck. Okay, it's the new beginning. It's the new beginning, and this is about love, romance, and relationship for the Aries. So there is this new beginning. Now, mind you, it stayed within the deck. So it's going to take free will and choices. Choices are things. It's going to take prayer, meditation, focusing on your home, your health. So you have what it takes to move forward, Aries. Oh, at the, at the bottom of the deck, Aries, home. And I do believe for some of you and the sacred, sacred number 12, I feel that some of you are going to be planning a home, a new home. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put these cards back in the deck, shuffle them up really good. And let's go with career and finance. Aries, career, finance, Aries, August 1st to the 15th of 2020. What does the Aries need to know that will be watching this video? It's the home card. So there's definitely something going on with the home. Are you moving out? Are you purchasing another property? Is this a camp? Oh, somebody's doing a lot of thinking. Whether you're male or female, and it's about the home. Definitely about the home. Look, okay, here we go. Ooh. Now, this card jumped out of the deck and almost hit the floor. This is that fear. This is the fear, and I fear that some of you, um, you, you can see my sage pot is really smoking and wafting. That's the fear. You're fearful of how much is it going to cost you. Mm hmm Remember your health and your home. Aries, love, romance, relationship. What else do the Aries need to know that will be watching this video pertaining to love and relationship? Aries, August 1st to the 15th of 2020. Oh, I just got a gonk in the pit of my stomach. Wow. I feel some of you... You're gonna have to make choices and you need to be strong. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be making choices for you, Aries. <laughs> Let's go with career and finance. Career, finance, Aries. You know what, there seems to be a card that flipped. Let's just double check. Nope, okay. Career, finance, Aries, August 1st. To the 15th of 2020, Aries, Aries. Oh, here is a card that flipped. It's the sun. So I do feel when it comes to career and finance, you have this, yeah, Aries. You still have this. You have backup. Oh, there it is at the bottom of the deck. You could just move and sail right through this. Aries, career finance, career finance, Aries, Aries. And I feel it's because uh, many of you Aries, and I do appreciate the kind comments, the like, shares, and the subscribes. But you'll say that you, your master manifestors, you've planted seeds and they're manifesting. And you even forgot that you planted this watermelon seed. And next thing you know, you have this watermelon. And this watermelon is metaphorically... <clears throat> Money, investments, a job, friends, oh, bottom of the deck, retrieving what you thought you had lost. Here we go. Relationships and commitments. Here's the heart. And look, here's the tower. This is really, this is a changing of the home. Two other cards. Divine intervention and you're cleaning it up and clearing it out. This is strongly about the home and your money. Strongly, Aries. And here's the other one, the other home card. I think, yes, look, Aries, if this resonated with you, please click like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate the kind comments. And um, if you would like a private reading, patrellasintuitiveinsights.com.
The information's on the link below. Thank you and God bless.